morning my lovely friends I hope you're all doing well I am really happy this morning I'm also kind of getting blinded but I'm loving the golden hour vibes so I am not gonna move <laughs> um but yeah I'm really happy this morning I figured today I would just do a little vlog I feel like I haven't vlogged in ages like just straight up like day in my life um type situation like it's been a hot minute so um that's what I'm doing today. Um, that's kind of it. All I've done this morning is get up and have breakfast at a smoothie and had some cuddles with Elfie, obviously. Um, but that's actually all I've done. And it is 10 to 10. So today's a Wednesday. I have a day off work today. So I give myself a little lion until about half eight. And then I get up. And I was helping my mum with some stuff this morning for her work um, and yeah that's kind of all that I have to update you on um, but yeah I just thought I'd vlog because I haven't in ages and I really like vlogging and vlogs are like my favourite videos to watch so I don't know if I could say vlog one more time in like a two minute space but here we are and um, so I'm thinking what I'm going to do now because basically I don't have a massive plan for the day and um, I have a couple of things on my to-do list but nothing to like nothing that's really tying me down so I'm gonna go to Tesco's later which is fun because I always love seeing what people buy when they go food shopping and I personally love going food shopping so I'll take you guys along there and I also I'm gonna take Elfie for a walk somewhere I think um, and then tonight I have if anyone remembers when I did my week and my workouts literally at like the start of lockdown I was doing these like RT24 classes, don't know if anyone remembers that, but anyway, I do them on a Wednesday night now, outside in like this random car park, so, so I'm doing that tonight, and then I have a meeting at church, so that's kind of my whole day, I have a couple of like random little bits that I want to do um, this morning, and then I think I'll go to Tesco this afternoon, my mum's at work, and my dad's out today, so it's just me and my bestie, if you can see her. She's just here, living her best life. Anyway, it's just two of us today, so we're gonna have a nice day. I'm excited um, just to chill and just have a nice cozy day. Um, so the first thing I figured I would do this morning, because it's not really a cozy day if you don't do this, is I figured I would bake something. Um, and I've been, I've been experimenting with a new recipe for a lemon loaf cake. So I've made it like three times in the last week um, because I'm trying to get it perfect so that I can share the recipe with you guys. Um, if you guys don't already, you should go follow me over on Instagram. I've been, whoa, hello exposure. Um, I've been starting to share some recipes on there, which has been really fun because I really love sharing recipes with you guys. Um, and I love getting recipes from other people on Instagram. So. I've started to share a few and you guys have been liking them so far so um, I think probably by the time this video goes up there will be a recipe up for this lemon loaf cake so if there is I will insert said recipe here and um, so yeah I think I'm going to do that right now and um, so I will take you guys along but I hope you guys really enjoy this video if you do please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already and yeah Let's go make some lemon loaf. Okay, so I'm gonna start baking right now. Um, I've got my little setup, I'll show you. Got my baking powder, my sugar, flour, measuring things, lemons. I've got some YouTube on, this is Nina Florence. Um, and I'm just gonna make my loaf.
so I'm not really sure if you can hear me because the oven's on, it's really loud, but the lemon cakes in the oven now, I changed out of my dressing gown because I felt like that was a small step away from being in pyjamas, but I'm actually still in my pyjamas. So anyway, <laughs> um, I also went and brushed my teeth. I wanted to mention that because I feel like in vlogs or morning routines or whatever, I never show me brushing my teeth because I just feel like it's a bit disgusting. I don't know. I just feel like it's not the nicest thing to watch. And but then I always think like, do people think I don't brush my teeth? So anyway, and I did also want to address how greasy my hair is. It is literally disgusting. Um, because basically I'm trying to train my hair to get to a point where it only needs to be washed once a week, which you might be like, that's disgusting. But it's better for your hair to not wash it very much. And I know like, I used to know this girl and she um, was, she had like kids and stuff and she used to go to the hairdressers every Saturday and she would get her hair washed and blow dried and that would be the only time her hair would ever get washed and she said like it was just one thing she like treated herself to but from once she started doing that and she never washed it herself, she, it was only ever washed at the hairdressers, her hair like got used to it and then it was never greasy and it is better for your hair. So anyway, I'm trying to train my hair to get to that point. So I used to wash it every other day and then I went to washing every three days so like twice a week and this week and last week I've gone the next step which is washing it once a week which does result in this from so I, I wash my hair on a Thursday now is like what I'm trying to do and it means from like the Monday basically <laughs> it's disgusting so anyway did just want to address that in case you think I'm a disgusting human who doesn't wash their hair or brush their teeth there we are um but anyway i'm gonna make myself a cup of tea right now because i have some work to do uh, just like some forms and things and i figured i'd get a start on i'd make a start on that while the cake is in the oven so i went into town yesterday with my best friend hannah to do like some final christmas shopping um just like bits and pieces and i saw this tea spiced christmas is that even focusing please focus sir no okay well it's spiced christmas tea and i'm very excited about it i'll be honest so it says i got it from the shop called sostrin gren sostrin green um which is like dutch or swedish i believe um and it is one of my favorite shops literally ever if anyone's ever buying me a present for you know anything literally buy me anything from that shop and i'll love it so anyway they have like um really fun what's it called like homeware stuff but like they had loads of cool decorations yesterday for christmas they have loads of cool craft stuff but i'm sure you, maybe you don't know what it is anyway if you do you do if you don't you don't but anyway at the end of the shop they have like a food section which always has some really like interesting things they always have like little spices and whatever it's really really good value but they always have some really fun teas so they have this one the way you normally get their teas, it's like loose leaf tea, and the way you normally get it is they have them all in like a little, like little trays, and then you scoop how much, there's little brown bags, and you scoop how much you want, and then you weigh it, but because this was like a special Christmas one, it was already packaged, so anyway, I thought I'd get this and try it, it says, it's black tea, apple, hibiscus, clove, orange, almonds, rose hip, cinnamon, vanilla, and clove, wow, and, and coconut and wow guys this sounds really really good so i'm very excited about this um and my friend i'm gonna sit you down because my arm's really sore hold up there we go um and my friend that i was with had never seen oh there we go had never seen loose leaf tea before or she had seen it but she'd never drank it or something like that i don't remember so anyway she was like how do you even make it so i was explaining it to her but i thought i'd show you guys because it's just fun isn't it so anyway because in case you didn't know tea bags are like most people put if you have like a brown food bin that you put like your food scraps or compost or whatever in most people will put tea bags in that bin but you're actually not supposed to do that because something like 80 percent of tea bags are unfortunately sealed with a plastic sealant like around the outsides i'll get a tea bag and show you what i mean so like this papery bit in the middle and the tea leaves 
are normally like compostable but this bit around the edge where it's sealed is like a usually a, made of a plastic sealant and some places even cook like this part with a plastic sealant i know it's not crazy so anyway that is something like 80 percent of tea bags so unless you're like tea company that you're buying your tea from unless you specifically know that they don't do that they probably do it which means you shouldn't be putting those things in your compost because then that whole batch of compost can't be composted even though the rest of it's probably perfectly fine so anyway loose leaf tea if you can get it is the best option really um or there's like obviously some brands don't do that but you need to really research it because there's very few brands that don't so anyway i don't drink normal tea but i really like um like peppermint tea green tea chai tea whatever so i thought i'd try this i'm really out of breath i thought i'd try this see how we get on so anyway guys it smells amazing whoa oh my jays that smells so good i'm so excited I'm just gonna sit here, do my forms, and hopefully it won't take too long. Maybe about 45 minutes, and then yeah. So I'll catch you guys later. <laughs> is ideal that's some plan also guys how cute are my nails my hand this is so shaky my hands are <laughs> i was with my friend yesterday and um her sister and she was like and why are you shaking so much like i'm sorry but that's not flipping normal <laughs> i hate myself anyway 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 um I think it's a combination of anxiety and low blood sugar. So I really need to eat, is the long story short. Anyway, we're going to go ice the cake. Then we're going to get some lunch. And I really hope this headache goes away because it's killing me.
Okay guys, so I've got my lunch tonight. I'm very excited about it. I'm just gonna sit here, watch some YouTube, eat my food. And then I'm not sure what I'll do next, but I'll let you know. Okay, so it's a little bit later now. Um, I don't even remember the last thing I filmed. But I'm pretty sure it was me eating my lunch or something. Um, basically my phone died and she has been charging. So basically I'm going to take Elfie out for a walk right now. And then we're going to go to Tesco's. Um, I got a bunch of stuff done uh, after lunch which was good. I tried a little tiny square of the lemon loaf. And I finished writing up the recipe and took some pictures for that. So that'll be up tonight. So be will already have seen that. And yeah. But before I went out on my walk, because I'm going to put a coat on, flipping freezing. But before I put my coat on, I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> so exciting. <laughs> oh my word. Okay, so if you're unaware, I'll provide some context. Basically, I'm going to Queen's University. I'm starting in February uh, doing adult nursing degree. So there's your context if you needed it. <coughs> and basically, I'm going to set you down so I can show you this properly. Basically, almost probably two months ago now, we, like me and the people who are on my course, got these like tops ordered. And they arrived the other day, like two days ago. So I went and picked mine up. And guys, I'm just so excited because I don't know if any of you are the same, but like, I feel so like, I don't know, whenever something big is happening in my life and I'm like waiting for it to happen, I get like major imposter syndrome and I'm like, I don't deserve this. So like, it's not happening or I, I don't know. It's just, it doesn't feel real until it happens. But there's been like a few big things that have happened over the past few weeks. Like I had to order my name badge for like my student nursing uniform and I had to get like planners and all that sorted and like things arrive in the post and whatever and there's just been a few things that have been happening that make me feel like I'm gonna be a nurse and it kind of scares me but it's also so exciting so anyway I thought I'd show you guys this because I'm so excited about it so it's this black like fleece thing but it's like fleece material on the inside but the outside is like a sporty material so it's really nice because I can wear it for like sports without it like being so like do you know if it's like a hoodie or something it just keeps all the moisture like if it rains or something anyway so this is my name here it says Liv and then it's got like the Queen's thing oh my goodness what I'm a queen student um has this little butterfly which is like the logo of the company that made them which is called move your mind and i think it's 10 percent, it's either 10 or 20 percent of their profits go to this charity which help people with mental health uh, difficulties and it's just a great ethos i really stand for it and the guy seems really nice that like makes them and everything so yeah and then on the back oh i'm not ready you're not ready nursing so anyway i'm just very excited and i thought i would show you that before i leave I'm gonna take elfie on a walk now then we're gonna go to tesco's okay so me and elfie are out for a walk right now um and i just want to show you guys my outfit because um obviously i shipped you my top but i think i look something hilarious i think i look like i don't know like jane and jane is a 35 year old mum of two jane just dropped her children off at school and um then she's going straight to a spin class, okay? And not just any spin class, like um, Jane goes to Soul Cycle, so like she, like they give you your shoes when you get to Soul Cycle, do you know what I mean? So, okay, I'm gonna show you my outfit. So we've got this weird fleece thing, okay? Got this coat, but it goes down to like my knees. I've got sports leggings, and we have Uggs. So, yeah, if you identify with Jane, then that's who I am right now. I just thought I'd share that because that's how I feel. Also, how nice is this blue sky? It makes me so happy when the sky's so nice and blue. And the trees behind me are all golden. I love it. I love it.
to go in it looks i mean the car park isn't that busy but then there's like loads of people so i'm a bit mm, i don't know but i'm here anyway so today's mask of choice is a standard disposable um although i don't dispose of them i've had the same disposable one for way too long i basically lost all my good ones and i don't know where they are so I have one other one, but I can't really breathe with it on, so it's a bit of an issue for Tesco's. Anyway, see you in there. I think I look a little bit chaotic. Um, I feel chaotic. I did have a good time though. I really enjoy Tesco's or Sainsbury's or whatever, just food shopping in general. It's one of my favourite activities. I have the whole car packed up right now. It's all chilling in there behind me. Ooh, Christmas bag. Who said that? Not me. So, anyway. I'm gonna go home now. It's about half four. Anyway, I'm gonna go home. And I've got this class tonight. So it's at half six. I don't know if I said that. Um, but like I said right now, it's half four. So yeah, this class is at half six. So my plan is I'm gonna go home and get some dinner because normally I go to this class and it's like half six to seven. And normally I go and then I get dinner afterwards. I have dinner when I come home. However, we have to go straight from this class to that meeting I was saying that we have at our church. So, and then that meeting we probably won't be home until like nine. And that's too late to be having dinner. I'm sorry, but it just is. So I think I'm gonna have to get some dinner before I leave for this clip. What are you up to? This person does not know what they're doing. So anyway, I think I'm gonna have to get some dinner before I go to this class. Um, but, so I'll probably have to do that like as soon as I get home because I hate eating like too close to the class, do you know what I mean? Because then you just feel flipping like you're gonna vomit the entire time. So there we are. That's that on that. So I'm gonna drive home and I'll maybe do a little grocery haul because I love seeing what people buy at the shops. Um yeah. I'll see you when I get home. Okay guys, so um I don't know if you can really hear me because the oven is on again. Um but I am going to unpack the shopping. I already took out some things that are just not interesting, like milk and stuff that I bought for my parents, like not fun things, but I'll show you the fun things that I got. So, let's move that up a little bit so you can actually see me. So anyway, I did get some, I'll do the fridge stuff first please. It needs to go in the fridge. Um, well, bananas don't go in the fridge, but I got loads of bananas. Um, then veggies, I got some curly kale, I got loads of leeks. I've got some spring onions, which each of these bunches were reduced to 15p, which I thought was a Then I got some oat milk. I got this Alps Pro blueberry yogurt. And I got two kinds of plant grain 
we got single soya by Alpro and this elmly plant which is made from lentil protein because I want to try and make like a really nice like creamy pasta sauce um, and I've heard really good things about this one but this one was a lot cheaper so I want to try them both and see which one's better. I've got some of these sausages, these are my absolute favourite vegan sausages Um, if you want like a plain flavour. I also love the Linda McCartney red onion and rosemary ones if you want like flavoured sausages but these are like plain flavour and they're so good. Like honestly incredible. And they're vegan, did I say that? Well, they're vegan. Then I got two ice creams. I got this one, which is the birthday cake flavor Halo Top. Um, this tastes amazing. It's not dairy free, but my mum really likes it, so I got it. And then I got this as well, which is the vegan cookies on cookie dough Ben and Jerry's. This is incredible. Caramel ice cream with a cookie swirl, cookie dough and chocolate chunks. Amazing. And both of those, right? Both of those should have been five pounds. But the club card price was three fifty, so if you don't have a club card, um, what are you doing? And these, which are the best vegan crisps, cheesy straws. These taste like quavers, which used to be my favorite qu crisps. Crisps before I was dairy free. So if anyone's interested, you need these in your life. Um, both of those had club card prices that were so much cheaper as well. I also got these, uh, Linda McCartney meatballs, tomato and basil flavor. Uh, I've only tried these for ages and I just thought they looked really fun. They're vegan as well. These bagels, which are the best bagels on the planet ever. Wrap. Some salsa for when I can't be bothered to make my own. And some cashews. That is my whole vegan food shop haul. My dinner's ready, so I really need to go. Love you. Bye. so it has been kind of a hot minute since I last vlogged I'm um, pretty sure the last thing I vlogged was before I went to RT24 anyway basically I haven't filmed anything because it was all just like busy and it was dark and I don't know like I literally just ate my dinner really quickly went and did exercise class which is just outside in the pitch black so <laughs> nothing to film um, and then went to a church meeting, which is obviously nothing to film. I've actually just got home. It is 10 o'clock and I'm exhausted. So I'm going to go downstairs, watch probably half of I'm a Celebrity and then fall asleep. Um, yeah. I hope that you guys really enjoyed this video. Um, sorry that it was a little bit chaotic. I also think I said that in every single vlog. So I should stop saying it and you should all just like get used to it. Do you know what I mean? So anyway... That's where we're at right now. Like I said, I'm gonna go downstairs and I'm just gonna go to bed. So yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. You all know the score. Um, and yeah, um, that's all I have to say, really. I will see you guys next time. Love you, bye.